Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets Daily News here on Turfcast. And after a quiet week so far, it's finally exploded into life. We've had a busy day today. What day is it? Tuesday, I nearly said Wednesday. Um, well, you're recording, you're watching this on Wednesday. I'm recording it on Tuesday, Tuesday night. But it's been very, very busy. And I felt like, like I said, the weekend was pretty quiet. Yesterday was pretty quiet. Monday was pretty quiet. And now Tuesday has exploded into life so on Wednesday's show for you we've got quite a lot to fit in so it might be short short and snappy but I say that every time and end up waffling on don't I um but yeah obviously as you are aware it's official uh, Lucas Perez is now a Burnley player like I said it has been at the club for a while now a, a week minimum I believe he's even played in one of the friendlies as well um, I don't know what it took so long for the club to announce it. Potentially work permit issues. I'm not sure. But it, but he has been at the club a while. But now, because a lot of people were getting restless, like I said, about three, four days ago, people were commenting under every post that the club were putting up saying, where's Perez, where's Perez? And then we're getting linked with other people. People said, we're going to end up signing him before Perez. But obviously not now. Uh, it's official. Lucas Perez is a claret, the Brazilian fullback joins on a four-year deal from Santos for an undisclosed fee. It's always undisclosed these days, isn't it, right? But it's reported to be around £2 million. So it's done. It's finally done. I say it's done. Like we know, we, we've, we've known about it for a while, but it's official. We can now move forward knowing that he is a Burnley player, knowing that he is going to be a Burnley player for potentially the next four years. And I think that's a good sign. I think the fact that the club are... Giving him a four-year deal shows that, you know, that they are confident that he's uh, he's going to be good enough. And I think the four-year deal is uh, with a uh, as as we're aware, the club, the club's tactics these days on these sort of things with a view to selling him on for a profit later down the line. Now I said several times I do not know too much about this man except YouTube videos, but like I said, he did apparently playing the game at the weekend, um, which I'll get onto in a minute. A friendly that we've had at the weekend, so. He's gone straight in there, but again, obviously, Parker's obviously going to want to see him, want to see what it looks like. But according to the article on the official website, there's some quotes on there from Perez. And he says, it's incredible for me to be here and playing in England. English football has been a dream of mine ever since I was a, a child. It's a dream come true. I initially heard about the interest towards the end of last season. I was really happy to hear about it and I was quite emotional, to be honest, about coming here and playing for this club in England. Myself, all my family and everyone back home are extremely excited to, uh, for me to come and play for Burnley Football Club and I can't wait now. Now, I know it's all PR stuff and I know he's, he's not going to sit there and go, meh, I came for the money. But that is good, genuine quotes. I love to hear the fact that he's 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 he's, he's got in there that he's emotional. He, he he does sound excited to me. Um, it he obviously says all this as well on the YouTube video. There's a YouTube video on the club's official account, and he comes across as uh, as sincere. If I'm being honest with you, so yeah, it's official. We can stop worrying those of you that were worrying. It's done. It's completed. It's announced, and he is officially a Burnley player. Like I said, don't know too much about him. Looking forward to hopefully seeing something, you know, in one of these friendlies that, you know, may or may not be streamed or may or may not be able to attend in Spain or whether the Cadiz friendly is going to be. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this player's like. I don't know too much about him, but yeah, it's official. Pires is a Burnley player and he signs on a four-year deal. So we've got one through the door officially this week and another one might not be too far behind. It could even be announced today. May, when I'm saying today, I'm referring to Wednesday or tomorrow, Thursday. Andreas Huntundra, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably not. But um, it's a bit of a weird one, this one, so just stick with me on this one. I was told that he had a medical or was about to have a medical. I wasn't sure the way it was worded to me. It just said medical. Uh, I can't remember exactly how it was worded. But I was told about this guy being at the club for his medical. So I then tweeted this morning. If, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I'd like to tweet the the, the gif of Danny DeVito putting like a glove on as a say like as a medical today or there's just been a medical. So I tweeted that this morning. Uh, and then later on in the day, um, Andy Jones from The Athletic 
like I said, I told you before, top lad. We have him on the show all the time. And he's probably, when it comes to the tiers, he, he's one of the ones that you'd put in tier one. Uh, one of the local lads as well. And you know, I like the local lads. I always feel like they have good contacts with the club. But he tweeted at around, I think it was about 5 p.m., something like that. I'll just quickly get it up on my screen now. Um, he tweeted at around 4.22, so pretty much bang on you. Uh, he said, Burnley are closing in and completing the signing of kind forward Andreas Huntundra. Versatile striker spent last season on loan at fellow League Two side. Rodez underwent medical today ahead of moves, or he was saying he had his medical on Tuesday at the club. But then in a dramatic twist, um, he tweeted... About uh, half an hour later, just short of half an hour later, saying, correction, I'm now receiving clarification from Burnley that Huntundre did not undergo his medical today. But the important line in this is before anyone panics is still move lightly to be completed in the coming days. And that is why I feel it may be announced on Wednesday, Thursday or potentially Friday at some point this week anyway, I think, because I was told about the medical Andy's obviously heard about the medical as well. And then I'm just guessing on this, I would suspect the club have then turned around. Because, well, it says from Burnley. Um, the club have then turned around and gone, nope, this is wrong. But it sounds to me like he's already had the medical. At a guess. I'd say he's already had it at a guess. Um, because of the stuff that I heard as well before this came out. But yeah, Perez through the door. Huntundry through the door. Whether he's had his medical or not, or he's going to have it tomorrow or maybe later this week. I think he's already had it at a guess, but we'll see. But it looks like he's not far behind being announced as well. So, yeah, Perez through the door and Huntundre hopefully is stepping foot through the door as we speak. With all these incomings, there's got to be an outgoing somewhere to balance out the good mood. And having said that, it's it, it's Michael Mellon. Now, he's a youngster and I, I do believe, or I did believe, he's, he's got quite a good future ahead of him. He did very well on loan at Morecambe. Probably not as well at Dundee due to the injury. Got got an injury, didn't he, at Dundee? He has gone out on loan again, this time to League One side, Stockport Counter. I know they're still bitter about Wembley uh, in the mid-90s, but hopefully this will go some way to them getting over it. Um, but yeah, Michael Mellon has joined League One side, Stockport Counter, on a season-long loan. Uh, this was this is official. It's, it was originally tweeted by Nixon, and it was literally about half an hour after that that the club actually confer, uh, confirmed it. First of all, through their academy Twitter account, and then it went on the official website. But the website does say Burnley Football Club can confirm that young forward Michael Mellon has joined League One side Stockport County on a season long loan. The striker spent the first half last season on loan with Morecambe in League Two, where the Scotland Under Twenty One International. Scored 15 goals in 27 appearances. Remember, that's half a season. 15 goals, that's very good. After then, joining the Claret Strategic Partner Club Dundee in January this year on loan until the end of the season. The 20-year-old played 14 sides to the Scottish side before returning to Lancashire in the summer. Mellon will now join Dave Challoner's newly promoted Stockport side for the 24-25 campaign. Dave Chandler. That's the name from the past. Do you remember when he used to do them really long th throws? Were, were it for Tramier? I think it were, weren't it? Um, but yeah, sorry, just just digressing a little bit there. But yeah, um, so I say outgoing. It's, it's only a youngster, but I felt like this kid might have been ready to be in and around the first team. Obviously not thrown into the first team and playing 35 games a season for us, but being around our first team, being... You know, playing in the Carabao Cup potentially, sub appearances. I felt like it maybe was his time because, like, like I just said, there he is twenty, so I know he's still young. But when players are very good, even at that age, they can play this level of football. So uh, we'll see. I, I do have high hopes for him, whether he achieves it at Burnley or not is another club. But yeah, um, Mellon's going to Stockport and he will be going there for a season long loan. Finally from me, just a couple of hearsay things that isn't necessarily attached to a report, but stuff that I've seen on Twitter or stuff that I've heard myself. Um, but obviously the club recently announced that they were playing Celtic in a behind closed doors friend. I believe that was this weekend. I believe we played them and I believe we lost 3-1. I was also told before Perez was made official that Perez played in that as well. So um, I have every reason to believe that is true. And I actually went, not long after that, I actually went on, uh, what's it called now? Claret's Mad's new name. 
up the clarets and I went on I don't I don't use that anywhere near as much as I should do simply because I think it's once since it's changed over to clarets mad my username don't work or something on it anymore I can't remember I should probably get in touch with the um the guy that owns it um but yeah I, I did see it on there after that and apparently it was Hugel who scored for us now I saw that on um, up the clarets I keep calling it clarets man up the clarets and then I'd, somebody responded to a tweet that I put up about us playing Celtic saying that he scored so again it correlates unless they just got it from there to be fair but yeah that correlates as well and another thing I did see on Twitter now it was from a journalist it was Will Lancaster you'll if you remember Will, you might remember Will from doing some bits with us, not last season, the world, at the end of last season. He did some fan reactions, uh, did, did did about three or four, uh, but he's he's a journalist as well. I'm not sure who it is he works for. I think he's freelance again, Will, if you watch this. I, I, I am sorry. Um, but he did something with Give Me Sport. I think he's freelancing with them or working for them, um, basically saying that James Trafford has reportedly told his teammates now um, that he wants to leave. Burnley Football Club. I mean, this is nothing new, is it, really, to be fair? We knew that Trafford wanted to leave. Uh, yeah, just just got it up on my phone now. Um, Will Lancaster said, understand James Trafford has told Burnley players of his desire to leave Turf Moor this summer amid Premier League interest. Teammates are aware of his intentions to return to the top flight after Newcastle had a £16 million bid rejected in early June. And this is what I mean about it being nothing new. We knew that he wanted to leave, right? He's... He's, he's made no, it's been no secret that Trafford wants to leave and he wants to stay in the Premier League. Uh, whether you think he deserves that or not, that's another debate. But yeah, it, again, it correlates with something that I'd been told that Trafford was due back this week. So he came back on Monday, I believe. That's not 100%, so apologies if that's a little bit off. Not everything you see on Turcast is true. Um, but then again, a couple of days later, this comes out from Will that he's then gone and told his teammates that he wants to leave. So... Murich out the door, Trafford out the door, Vigoro out the door. The name that I can't say in, Haladke in, we'll see. Uh, that might be a slow burner. But yeah, it's not looking great in the goalkeeping department, is it? Because if the Ipswich goalkeeper, whose name I'm not going to butcher one more time and give you all the satisfaction, is going to take a while, then we kind of need somebody in quick. Because uh, even Vigoro could be off as well but yeah like I said that's it for me we've had quite a lot to chat about today so it's a little bit longer than usual I think I've done well in condensing it in less than like 25 minutes to be fair um, but yeah Perez officially a Burnley player now Andreas Huntundre not far behind him has he had his medical has he not I think he has uh, and then like I said as well with regards to the other stuff you've got Trafford telling his teammates that he wants to leave you've got the Ipswich goalkeeper whose name I'm not going to butcher potentially coming in a little bit it and miss that one. Some reports saying going to the Czech Republic. Some reports saying we're still in it. Uh, and of course, everything else I've mentioned as well with Mellon going to Stockport and the Celtic defeat as well. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of today's rumours and news. Are we glad to see Perez over the line? It's, it's a weird one, isn't it, with, with people like Perez. When we sign him, I felt the same with Zorori and Benson. So that's a good sign, isn't it? Because them two, I know he's a fullback, but them two came in with unknown and we didn't know anything about them really. And they both ended up being really, really good, especially Zorori in the first half of the season. And know Benson might be more of an impact player, but we, we ended up loving them both, didn't we? As Clarets, obviously, Benson got the goal that won as a league against Blackburn. Zorori scored against Blackburn as well. Benson was doing the cutting sign and bending it into the top bins every single week. We fell in love with them two players, despite knowing nothing about them. So it's 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 a weird one because you don't know if they're going to be any good and you see Sheffield United signing the likes of Callum O'Hare and Kiefer Moore and you know what they're like. You know that they're good signings and you, and you look at them and you think, Sheffield United are doing decent business. But then we, with the people that we're signing, obviously the same goes for Hunt Undry as well. You just don't know what they're going to be like. You just don't know if they're any good. So I do feel that the club have got quite a lot right in the transfer market recently. Like I said, I've just given you some examples there of the players that they have got right, but they've also got a few wrong as well. So which side of the fence are these going to fall on? Fingers crossed, it's obviously the positive one. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below about all of the stuff that I've spoken about today. And I know I said I'd do this one Wednesday night. I've ended up doing it Tuesday night and scheduling it for you on Wednesday morning. But I'm working again tomorrow, 
on Wednesday, so today when you're watching this, I need to get used to doing that properly, for another 12 hours, so I may do next one on Thursday night, I know I said that last time and ended up just doing it like this anyway, um, but we'll see, we'll see, but I'll definitely be doing a show, I'm definitely doing a show on on Thursday for you and definitely should be doing one on Friday for you, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm waffling on again now, so I'm just going to end it here, let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you haven't subscribed, please do already. Oh,